Hi guys, Mr. Space Importy for YouTube. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And today we're taking on our biggest, biggest rivals ever. No, it is not Red Star. No, it is not Vojvodne. No, it is not even the team that actually is in the same division and is technically one of our rivals. I think it was Vozvodak, who is not even in our division. <laughs> Boys, no, it is the team that has threatened not one, not two, not three, but at least four of our youth players. That's right, we're going to be taking on PSG. <gasps> Zidane himself is going to be coming to our beautiful study on FK Partizan. We are very excited to see them. We're excited to see the amazing team that Paris Saint-Germain is. No Messi. No Messi because obviously he has retired in this game by 2024. Or has he? Hang on. Hang on. I don't see him. If he's not the first one, that means he does not exist. Messi does not exist in 2024. Anyways... A lot of games have happened, and as you can see, we're not here for the Vojvodne game. That has happened last episode, or last episode, last uh, game, which I didn't show. But what did happen last episode is this game against, well, Red Star. 1-1, remember that. That was horrible. After that, some good, good results. As you can see, a lot, a lot of green, a few goals conceded, which is very, very good, and one random yellow result. So obviously, 4 nil against Spartak, as you can see on the screen. Stanich with a double, who's actually won the player of the month, which is really, really important for him. Dragon and Illich, beautiful, beautiful play. We are playing a bit more of our youngsters. Uh, Plika is our mainstay now in the squad instead of Jurosovic, and Jurgen Jansen is just being an absolute beast, who, talking about him in this game, scored a goal. That's his first goal against Radnički, Beautiful, beautiful header. I mean, I'm, I was kind of expecting this from him. He's a tall lad. He should be doing this more often. There we go. That's his first goal. Very, very good. I think in what? In four? Whoa. So he played... Has he played four games? Well, no, in three. Yeah, in four games, he has scored one goal. Very good. Absolutely amazing. Vlahovic, Stevanovic, Stanic again with a double. And like I said, Jurgen Jansen. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Game against Makwa, 3-1. Stanic again on the score sheet. Beautiful guy. Uh, Topic, who wants to play a bit more. We're playing him. And Stupar. And after that, no one really cares. Some good results. Good results against Maribor as well. Vanya Vlahovic scoring a goal on the penalty. Stevanovic and Stanic, again, continuing his beautiful, beautiful run of form. Against Marost, 5-0. And Dalibor Paspals was having a beast of a game. He was doing a really, really good job. Even though, obviously, we won 5-0. There were some shots he was saving. So we did keep a clean sheet. Also because of him. Really important. Dragan, Stupar. Mandic, Stevanovic, and Petkovic. As you can see, the first half was very boring. The second half, not so much. A lot of goals. That is exactly what we're going to see. 5 0 against Mayabor. Again, good stuff. This time, Popovic having a good game. Vlahovic with a double. Mandic scored a goal. Dragon and Savo Lazovic. You know, remember this guy? He's a very, very good player. Look at that finishing goal, that first touch. Decent pace. He's like the quicker version of Stanic, but not yet as good, which is really, really good. And finally, right? Finally. That was finally, no, not finally. That was last Maribor game, Zlatibor, 5-0. And another player scored his first ever goal for the club. No, it's not Mihaly Petkovic. Uh, he, the OG people will remember. He actually played a few games for us. No, it is actually Milos Leskovac, who scored in the 89th minute. Beautiful, beautiful, I mean, finish outside the box. I really appreciate this guy. He is going to be potentially a, a very good player for us. Look at that. Good aggression, good bravery, good heading. Good marking, good tackling already. And he's only 15, so very, very good player. Hopefully, he will actually develop. He's played five games for us. Scored one goal. Absolutely amazing. He typically plays a box-to-box -box because we don't really play a ball in midfielder. But yeah, stay tuned. You may see him more in the future. Maybe in a few seasons, he'll be an absolute G. And 1-1 uh, against Vojvodnaya. They just don't want to lose to us. However, we had Stoikov in goal. In goal. Stoikov at the back. Sapuric. I mean, Pajic top it played in the middle. Mandic played the shadow striker, as you can see, not very well. Mila Jovanovic played in the left, and Pajic got injured up front. As you can see, very rotated side, and that makes sense. But today, hopefully, we're going to be taking on our best side, and we're going to be playing PSG. But first, two major news to show you guys. So, apparently, Vito is um, annoyed at the manager, and uh, he's annoyed at Pirlo. And as you can see on the screen, he would like to put in a transfer. But uh, for some reason, I don't see him on the transfer list. I don't understand how. I guess it wasn't accepted. But apparently, he had some promises broken, had a decent season last year. And I'm hoping that if he gets really annoyed, I can sign him. And finally, we had another player who actually got annoyed with us. I did mention to you last time. <laughs> Unfortunately, we had to sell him Ziva. You know, we had Vido, and now we have Ziva. He left the Derby out of all teams. Apparently, that's the teams that sp spun his head. Chelsea didn't do it because Chelsea was offering 3 million. Derby offered quite a lot more. I think it's like 16.75 and it goes up to 25. And they also give 50% sell-on clause, which is absolutely amazing. Good player was being a 
pain in my butt and um, had to sell him. I mean, good money. I think that's very good money for him. Plus 50%, obviously perfect, perfect way to do it. Let's see how he does for Darby. I mean, he's already played two games, played crap. And uh, if Darby gets relegated next season, they've done 17 twice in a row with Leonardo Jardim. Interesting. We'll see how that works. Right. Let's not waste any more time because these videos are way too long as they are. Let's jump into the tactic and uh, you kind of know what tactic you're expecting. Let's go. Right, so we're going to go with something like this. And as you can see already, there's a little bit of a problem with this tactic is the fact that Plika doesn't know how to play that position, a more uh, wing backy position than he's used to, which is weird because he knows how to play a fullback. He knows how to play a winger, but he doesn't know how to play in between. Amazing. Thank you, full manager. I feel like these kind of things should be in the game from now on. Like it would make sense. I mean, obviously going from attacking wise to defensive wise. But if you learn how to do this, you should definitely learn how to do this. Anyways, whatever. And uh, Rogac does not know how to do inverted wingback because also we sold Kuchin, Tutin. Actually, wait, I was correct. I did Tutin, Tutin. Anyways, we loaned him out to uh, Spal, I think. So yeah, so we're going to have Rogac playing there. Or should I play Bojat? No, let's play Rogac. Anyways, Paspal, Jingol, Stepanovic, Marcus, Janssen are three best center backs, really. Illich, like I said last time, he's going to be a deep playing playmaker because let's not go too crazy with Registas. Although he could probably play Regista, but I don't think our whole team is quite ready. Though... Let's do it. Let's put Regista. Why not? Topic is a box box. Vlahovic, Stevanovic, and up front, Stanic. Right. Guys, this is going to be one of the toughest games ever. PSG has won uh, the Champions League twice already, twice in a row. So uh, I think they want to do it again. So I hope you guys obviously support me. Smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. We are almost at 500, and that is incredible. And yeah, let us go and see if we can win Paris Saint-Germain. Idemo. I was kind of hoping they would take it easy on me, and in fact, they did not. Donnarumma actually went with them, which is absolutely incredible. It's one of those things where full manager once again predicted the real future. Marquinhos, Mancini, Ahmedovic. Ooh, is Marquinhos going to play on the right? Marquinhos looks like he's a right back. Interesting. Uh, Mancini, Ahmedovic, Guerrero, Florentino Lewis, Milinkovic, Savic, Kamavinga, Kulusevski, Mbappe, Haaland, Neymar's on the bench. Neymar's on the bench. Oh my goodness, what a squad. John Stones, Morata, Coman, Vinaldo. Jeez, what a team. What a crazy, crazy team. I don't know what we're going to do today. Hopefully this tactic holds out. If it doesn't, we scrap it. And next time we play super, super attacking. Yikes, this is absolutely terrifying. So once again, this is how we line up. We got Leskovac on the bench, which is impressive. He He's going to be so overawed. The 15-year-old is going to be, well, maybe coming on. May not be, probably not. But, you know, it's nice for him to kind of experience this stuff and that is a terrifying PSG squad obviously it's the first game of the season oh yeah and this is our league I completely forgot to show it we have Atalanta Rangers and of course PSG because you know we always have to have at least one Italian team and at least one Scottish team as always and I guess French we've had Monaco before yeah so let's see how the game goes Okay, so absolutely nothing happened up until the 30th minute. I also went a little bit more direct because I want us to, I guess, move the ball up the pitch a bit more than we normally do. We have a very not much possession, which is unfortunate, but hopefully we can create something from here. Or, I mean, they have the ball. We need to steal the ball off them. Sergei Milinkovic Savic plays it to Marquinhos, who's going to put a cross in. Jansen clears it. Stepanovic clears it. Can someone pick it up? No, I can't. Ahmedovic on the ball. Ahmed Dozic. Mbappe, oh god, who's better Mbappe or Rogac? Of course, Mbappe, one on one. Stop him, stop him. Oh my goodness. I mean, at least I'm more happy with the way Paspal's just playing, so that's good. But I mean, I don't want to see who's better, Paspal or Mbappe. And they have another chance to get Milikovic, Kulisevsky. How do they have so much money? It is ridiculous. Marquinhos puts a cross in, Mbappe knocks it back. Kamavinga, ooh, that was a chance again. Wow. Uh, alarm bells are ringing. They're ringing. We're not doing a good job so far. I don't think. Look at the stats. Absolutely not good. And it's halftime. <laughs> and it's halftime. We are somehow still... I want to say we're in the game, but uh, we're not playing. We're just defending. We are definitely just defending. I am not happy. I mean, this is definitely the kind of tactic that um, I guess makes us a little bit... Um, I don't even know how to say this. I mean, a bit more defensive i mean yeah that, that that is how you say it but yeah i don't know what else to do we're gonna have to keep playing like this um interesting let's see you in the second half let's do a cheeky encourage once again as there is a highlight this time two minutes into the game mancini florentino kulosevsky i mean if you can see do i instantly go to an attacking formation i think i do we i don't know i feel like this tactic is not doing as much because obviously i can't really test it until the big teams arrive and uh in these moments i kind of try have to try it but we'll see. Kamavinga on the ball. I was just kind of hoping this tactic will give a bit more 
an attack. It's doing okay in the defense, but probably just because we're parking the bus heavy, even though we shouldn't be. Stevanovic picks the ball. Stanich. <gasps> Donnarumma clears it. Oh, that could have been a good chance, but apparently he's quicker than Stanich. Kamavinga, one on one with Paspalsh. Paspalsh, get in the way. Again, what the hell are these goals that are going in? This is... The <laughs> I like it. It doesn't matter. I think Football Manager has a script. It's like FIFA, you know, it's definitely scripted. You can tell in this scenario. And again, granted, we did, we are deserving to be behind. But look, Kamavinga takes an awkward touch. Paspal should get there. And um, Paspal does not come off the line. Paspal does not come off the line. And I need to stop blaming Paspal because he keeps messing things up. It's a change of tactic. It is a change of tactic. There's no point defending this lead anymore. We're going back to our beautiful tactic like here. Hopefully, we do have the players to deal with it. Um, we may have to do one sub, but that is completely fine. And there we go. That was the tactic we're going with. Again, we change. I don't know if I'm, I showed you this, but uh, there we go. This is what we're going for. Kind of a normal formation, normal uh, setup. Hopefully, that's going to do something. Hopefully, it's going to wake up some players. And it has. We have a highlight, Illich. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's just the way it goes. We are now strong enough to get countered by Haaland. Haaland. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot he exists. Haaland, one-on-one -on -one with Paspal. Paspal comes out strong. Paspal, good job, buddy. Uh, I need to encourage the team. I mean, can I? No, I can't. I absolutely can't. Unfortunately, Guerrero. Is he going to put a cross in? Guerrero. Vlahovic wins the header. Paspal, Paspal, Stanis, please get to it. Stanis does get to it. Okay. Yeah, Stevanovic is going to need to come off. He's having a horrible, horrible game. He always disappears in big games. I don't understand how he does that. Uh, okay, I was going to make a sub, but now it's a highlight. I don't want to skip it. Vlahovic, who is potentially coming off soon because he's also having a crap game with 6.3. Um, I mean, granted, we're playing PSG. Of course, you're going to have a, clap, a crap game. Jansen, Markovic, beautiful play. I think this is the way we should go against the big teams now or any teams. It doesn't matter anymore. Scrap the tactic or maybe not. I don't know. We could still lose it 5-0 and uh, it'll be embarrassing, but we're not creating anything as we win the ball. Do we win the ball? Sergei Holland. Janssen beats Holland, but Holland picks the ball up again. Kulosevsky, beautiful pass to Neymar. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Paspalsh, beautiful, goes to the corner. Oh my god, why is no one awake to this? Holland scores 2-0 to uh, PSG. I mean, Paspalsh is actually trying. <laughs> He's actually trying today, boys, but um, yeah. Apparently, not enough. He puts a save. Absolutely no one gets to it. Who the hell is that? And why did he bob and weave Topic? Uh, silly goals, silly, silly, silly goals. Do I not have any more wingers? I don't have any more wingers. That is very much unfortunate. I guess it's time for Plika to go on the wing. <laughs> awesome, and Yurosic to go there. Maybe Plika can do something that they can't. I don't know. Plika, maybe he is creating. He is actually, no, we've never been this far. And that's thanks to Plika. Stanic, uh, Mancini clears it. We do stop it. Jansen, who's a decent center back. Beautiful pass to Soisa Village. Illich. Can we get a goal? If we can get a goal, this would be impressive. Stoy Savelic. Donnarumma Plika creates something. There we go. Inspired substitution. Thank you to Yurosovic for coming on because Plika gets to come on. Oh, uh, and also Stoy Savelic, to be fair. Beautiful run. Look at that. Runs and completely leaves Marquinhos by himself. Beautiful finish. Donnarumma almost gets to it, but Plika, beautiful through ball. Let's go. We still have a chance. Encourage the team, boys. Tight offside. No offside. No offside. Come on. That was so onside. And uh, yeah, looks like it's going to just end 2-1. Okay, another decent result. I am don't know what to do with this tactic. Uh, I, I may just bin this. I may need to create something else. Unlucky boys, because it's just, it seems one of those tactics where um, it just, it doesn't, um, it doesn't create much. It definitely defends a lot, but it doesn't create anything at all. 2-1 against Paris Saint-Germain with that amount of money spent. How much money do they spend? Let's see. Yeah, no. And they don't even sell much. Look at this. Three, 300 million. They have spent 300 million. What the hell are these figures? I mean, to be fair, they've also sold someone for 144. Pau Torres, Soler, Matvienko. Okay, so they do actually sell players. But still, 300 million. What? 460. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to stop. I'm just going to stop. This is crazy. We come unstuck. Fair enough. But I guess this is the... Bruh. I feel we deserve to win. We were excellent in every department and controlled the match. Vlachovic wasn't a factor. Ooh, Zizou. Ooh, Zizou. I don't like you. You know? I don't like you, Zizou. Anyways. Yeah. So that was that. Um, we lost against uh, Paris Saint-Germain. But that's okay. Because next time we get to play Atalanta, who are a slightly weaker team. I wonder if uh, Miranchuk still plays there. Uh, let's take a look. 
doesn't seem like it. Where is Miranchuk? Have they they have sold him to a Russian club, haven't they? I swear to God, they have sold him to a Russian club. Um, um Where is Mira? Ah, he's at Wolves. Oh yeah. Ooh. Okay. Anyways, nice little tangent. Who's done? Whoa, he's done quite well. Wow, not bad. Anyways. We're taking on Atlanta next time, so that's going to be in a few games. We're obviously having a few games in between, and uh, that's fine. Hopefully, we're not going to lose any progress in the league. We have lost our first game of the season, which is, but again, it's against Paris Saint-Germain. What can you do? Right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button if you have. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Comment down to tell me, should I stick with this tactic? Does this tactic work? Does it need more work? And maybe offer some advice what I need to change. As you can see, I'll pop it on the screen right now. Look, this is the kind of things we have. This is how it looks like. What should we change? Maybe I need to start doing something different. I don't know, but there we go. Plika learned how to play wing back now. Woohoo! After this game. Beautiful. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video on Thursday. Oh, by the way, on Tuesday, it's going to be an epic video. Tune in for that. Bye, guys.